I'm Rose Della, the Artistic Director and Principal of the Centre for Indigenous Theatre. CIT is a post-secondary performing arts training centre. We offer a three and four year full-time conservatory style education. Our program is designed to connect theatre training with traditional and contemporary Indigenous cultural practices to advance artistic development, industry and business practices, and ultimately to cultivate professional opportunities. You will come here to train, to learn, to grow, to become the emboldened and inspired voices of tomorrow, the new generation of passionate Indigenous culture creators to tell your stories in your voice. Bonjour. Bidwa a gishko kwe dishnakaz megaze do dem. We are grateful to live and work and learn on this land and acknowledge the traditional caretakers of this land. The Huron Wendat, the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Anishinaabe. Chimigwech caretakers, Chimigwech Kakamekwe. Welcome to the Center for Indigenous Theatre's program info session. My name is Pearl. I am DM. And I'm Sunny. We are current students at CIT. We're happy to have you join us today. We're here to answer all your questions about our school and how you can become a student in our classes. Have you ever thought about pursuing a career as an artist? Let us know in the comments. If you're watching us right now, you probably already have some questions in mind about the Center for Indigenous Theater and what we're all about. Feel free to leave those in the comments too. Now we'll start with a little history on CIT and show you what the program and school year may look like. Then we'll go over our COVID-19 health and safety protocols, as well as how to apply and get into the program. During our short time today, you will also get to view a feature on our first in-person showcase in the last two years. Also, we were able to sit down with one of CIT's alumni, Joel Chief Moon. So stay tuned for those clips. Let's jump in with the brief history lesson. CIT was founded by James Buller and was originally a six-week program called Native Theatre School. The Native Theatre School was then renamed Center for Indigenous Theatre in 1994. We went on to become a full-time program in 1999. We then expanded to a three-year program in 2002 and then added a fourth year in 2018. Now, if you're still wondering what we're all about, CIT is a post-secondary program that provides training in acting, voice, and movement. We also offer cultural classes, which are focused on dance, song, and oral history. We have partnerships all across Canada that we share different experiences with throughout the year. We offer opportunities for land-based teachings with the Baj Majig storytellers in Manitowaning and Anamatogsi in Nipissing First Nation. Now it's time for a feature from last December's production. When my cue comes, call me, and I will answer. <laughs> my next is most fair pyramids. <laughs> Hi ho. Peter Quince. Flute to Bellows Bender. Snout to Tinker. Starling! God's my life stolen hence and left me asleep. I've just had the most rare vision. I've just had a dream. 
past the wood of a man to say what dream it was. Man is but an ass if you go about to expound this dream. But me thought I was. No, 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 no. There is no man that can tell that. But me thought I was. And me thought I had. But man is an apached fool if he were offered to say what me thought I had. The eye of man hath not heard. The ear of man hath not seen. Man's hand is not able to taste, nor his tongue to conceive what me thought I had. I will get Peter Quince to write a ballad of this dream. And it shall be called Bottom's Dream, because it hath no bottom. And to make it more gracious, I will sing it at the latter end of the play, peradventure, before the Duke. And to make it more gracious, I shall sing it at her death. Just said scars, I never felt a wound. <laughs> but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vessel livery is but sick and green, and none but fools you wear. Cast it off. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that shame she wear. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heavens, having some business, do entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spirits till they return. What if her eyes were there, and they in her head? <coughs> the brightness of her cheek would shame those stars, as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven that through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she rests her cheek upon her hand. Oh, if I were a glove upon that cheek, that I may touch that hand. to do their amorous rites by their own beauties. Or if love be blind, it best agrees with night. Come, civil knight, thou sober-suited matron all in black, and learn me how to lose a winning match played for a pair of stainless maidenhoods. Hood my unman blood baiting in my cheeks with thy black mantle, till strange love grown bold, think true love acted simple modesty. Come, civil knight, come, Romeo, come thou day and night, for thou wilt lie upon new wings of night, whiter than new snow on a raven's back. Come, gentle knight, come, loving black-brown knight, and bring me my Romeo. And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. 
and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun. Oh, I have bought the mansion of love, but not possessed it. And though I am sold, not yet enjoyed, so tedious is this day as is a night of some festival to an impatient child that hath new robes and may not wear them. Oh, here comes my nurse, and she brings news. Anyone that speaks but Romeo's name speaks heavenly eloquence. My mistress with the monsters in love. <laughs> near to her close and consecrated bower, while she was in her dull and sleeping hour. A crew of patches, rude mechanicals that work for bread upon Athenian stalls, were met together to rehearse a play, intended for great Theseus' nuptial day. That shallowest thick skin of that barren sort, who Pyramus presented in their sport, forsook a scene and entered in a break. Zut. When I did him at this advantage take, an ass's null I fixed on his head. And on his this be must be answered. And forth my mimic comes, when they him spy, as well geese that the creeping fowl awry, or russet padded coughs, many in sort, rising and cawing at the gun's report, sever themselves and madly sweep the sky. Here o'er and o'er one falls, he helps and murder cries of Athen calls. Nay, sure, he's not in hell. He's in Arthur's bosom if ever man went to Arthur's bosom. He made a finer end and went away and it been any Christian child. We parted evening, between twelve and one, evening at the turning of the tide. For after, I saw him play with the sheets and play with the flowers and smile upon his fingers' ends. I knew there was but one way, for his nose was as sharp as a pen, and he babbled of green fields. How now, Sir John? Quoth I, what man, be a good cheer. And he cried out, God, 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 three or four times. Now I, to comfort him, bid him, he should not think of God. I hoped he would need not trouble himself with any such thoughts yet. So he bade me put more clothes on his feet. I put my hand into the bed and felt them and they were as cold as any stone. Then I felt to his knees, and so upward and upward, and all was as cold as any stone. Back to our program. Here's the outline of our current school year. The first cohort of first year students started school in September. We began with an orientation period of CIT here and Toronto. Students then enrolled into full-time training with the winter break in between our studies. We are now continuing our training from January until May, leading up to graduation. Due to COVID-19, special protocols have been put into place. This includes, but is not limited to, mandatory social distancing and facial coverings, as well as sanitization and screening before entering CIT studios. The health and safety of our students, faculty and staff members is of the utmost importance. That may leave you wondering what your class schedule might look like during the school year. As our current, self, as our current health and safety regula regulations <laughs> continue to develop, your training may be influenced by COVID-19 related provincial guidelines. Here are your schedules. As you can see, we've had mostly in-person training this year. 
You will have a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical theater, singing, and story creation. It's now time for a clip from our interview with Joel Chiefmoon, an alumni and current fourth year student. Can you name some people or um, can you name some artists or mentors that um, inspired you along your journey in the career in the arts? Okay, well, first of all, um, Philip Glass, he's a composer. He's my favorite composer. Someday I will meet him. I guess he was in Calgary like a few years ago and I didn't know he was the theater that I, theater company that I know of, oh, wow. but missed that opportunity. But he had a major role on my music and um, just keeping music fresh as opposed to like, cause sometimes classical right now for me, I started listening to more modern classical as opposed to like Beethoven and the romantic, all those, the older periods of um, music, because it got boring. <laughs> so with Philip Glass, it was a whole new genre within classical music. So, um, and that too, it kind of, um, it's defined as minimalism. So that kind of defined my aesthetic from like how I dress, how I like working, um, how I like props and like just, the, the simple, the better, right? Even in music. Um, and then as for artists, the ones that I really looked up to when I went to CIT was um, Lee Miracle. She, um, we've always had like, I've always, I always learned every time I walked away from, from her, from her class, I always learned something new. Or she always confirmed something that I've always known, right? because she, her knowledge was just so vast. She was a walking encyclopedia. Could ask her anything and she knew the answer. And Rose, of course, she was always like a mother figure at CIT, especially being like away from home. And so she was like, had that familial air about her and it was, it was a good um, relationship with, with that. I really um, admire and I look up to Ed Roy or Edward Roy. He is one of my, um, he really pushes me to, to do my best. Oh, and as well as um, Alejandro Ron Sirius. He's, um, he's just amazing. I love working with him. Him too, he pushes me to do my best and to do more than I can, you know, and, um, and I guess, I think that's all I could think of at the moment, because I don't have too much. Oh, and another one that I do look up that I just met over the summer is um, Denise Clark, and she's in Calgary. She's a um, Calgary-based artist, and she's, she's pretty well known, and she's amazing, amazing teacher. She teaches voice and <clears throat> movement and she knows, she's just amazing too, very knowledgeable in her field. Uh, what's your best advice for success for a new student or for the students that are currently enrolled in our program? Stay sober. <laughs> <laughs> um, our elders always tell us, the Blackford word is mogakit igakimat. That means try hard and persevere. And so it's, it's always something we, um, it's a word of encouragement that we always tell somebody when they're going through something hard or when they're going about to begin a new journey or just, just to encourage them not to give up. So I would tell them that just no matter what, we all, life is life. It has its obstacles, but if we can get through them, life will be maybe just a little better. I love that. Please repeat that. <laughs> Get here. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Did that inspire you to want to apply? Let us know in the comments below. Wondering what requirements are needed to apply to the Center for Indigenous Theatre? You must identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit. You must be 18 years of age or older. You need a grade 10 English level or higher. 
have an interest in acting, movement, voice, self-discovery, and theater, as well as have an interest in exploring indigenous culture and knowledge. Now that we've gone over requirements, here are important documents that you must submit when applying to Center for Indigenous Theater. They include... An updated resume, a 500-word essay expressing your interest in theater and coming to CIT. Two references can vouch for your interest in theater, a photocopy of your health card, and an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you out with your audition, we created a how-to video. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Center for Indigenous Theater. Hi, I'm Teresa Cutknife, and I'm also a fourth year student at the Center for Indigenous Theater. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. Yes, so first find an age appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the Indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams. Do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you? What did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. What to wear, uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep, and you know, it does, there's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you wanna show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it, but you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story. Uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all. And uh, I had somebody film it for me. I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you gotta do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head. You can have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you. And you can just send that into CIT. Have fun. There are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Curious on what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes, and you must actively be looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition costs each year are $3,750. Before you go, we would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you're unable to receive financial support from your band. There are other organizations that you can submit applications for funding. They include, but are not limited to, Inspire Foundation, Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation, Métis Nation of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississaugas of the Credit, other local organizations if you are in need of funding, application assistance, contact us at the Centre for Indigenous Theatre. No student has ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook and to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also check out our new website at indigenoustheater.com. We also would like to thank our funders. With their generous support, we are able to provide a school for our students. The Department of Canadian Heritage, the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, Musée Webic of Original Employment and Training, Hastings Park Foundation of Rights and Freedoms, McLean Smith's Family Foundation, and the Ontario Arts Council Foundation. Thank you for attending CIT's program info session. 
Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and we will get back to you. See you, See you soon! soon.